This is John Pluta, GeorgiaBees.blogspot.com. I want to discuss building inexpensive, lightweight, pressure-treated beehive pallets. What I've come up with is over the last few years, I've built hundreds of these right here. I'm converting to two-way pallets on small pollination deals or permanent locations. I'm drifting away from some of the four-hive pallets. I'm not wanting to move bees as much anymore. What this is, is basically a 12 pound, $3 pallet. What's involved is, at Home Depot, or Lowe, well, mostly Lowe's, they have an 8 foot pressure treated budget 2x4 for about 2.5 bucks. For every 3 high pallets you're going to buy, or build, you'll have 2 foot left over for your next pallet. And so, for every 3, you'll end up with 4 pallets. The other board is my universal board that I use for almost everything is the six foot dog eared pressure treated fence board. What these are, they're lightweight, they're versatile, and uh, I use them for, for frame rails on my bottom boards, end bars on my top bars, and my pallets. So basically a, a 250, eight foot pressure treated two by four, and, and a dollar, dollar and a half board it comes out to right, right, right around three dollars and what I do with this here is all my pellets are built 34 and a half inches wide these are 23 and a half inches long and people always ask well why do you do why not, why not do 24 it's because when you raise up in the back you lose a half an inch when you're putting them on a, a, a standard size truck trailer and that, that half inch adds up a lot and so either 23 or 23 and a half deep is what I build. On my uh, fence boards I cut them also 34 and a half inches. I get two cuts out of the board then I'll visually inspect the board because I'm going to be using one of them as my front board, my landing board, and then the other two pieces I'm splitting for my back boards. And so it just matter of preference. And so anything with a heart in it, I would keep up front. And then it's not, not, no science to it. Basically, just rip, rip it right down the center. by using a, a one pallet to begin with because we're because we're 34 and a half your center beam is, is going to be right around seven, just over 17 inches what I use is I, I use pressure treated the uh, the deck screws I normally use the one and five ace and I'll use three two and two and uh, by, by passing them down and by, by, by having your original box, your pallet squared up, it doesn't have to be perfectly exact on, on spacing them. I'm only doing one, one screw here just to show you. Now, what this does, this gives you a pallet for, for flat locations or when you're on a slope. What I, what I like to do is, normally they're free for the asking, but my other piece I use is at Lowe's, they have these pressure treated uh, two by twos, two by threes that they um, basically throw away. And uh, I will pass on these to, to the back of pallets when you're on high, high, ground, high ground locations, this will give you a slope to the front, or if you're sloping downwards, you reverse it the other way to, to level up a little bit more. What I use for these, on all my bottom boards, most of them have a notch cut in for the banding on the pressure treated loads. I normally use three inch stainless steel screws on, on these here. And I normally just do one, one per spot 
And then the other good advantage to these hot to these pellets is they nestle together very well. If you're moving large amounts of them, they fit snug and take up half the space. This is basically an a inexpensive, pressure treated, 12 pound, $3 pallet that you can use for standard highs, for nukes, uh, any of your beekeeping, and they've done me well. What's happening in the background here is we had a tree fall down and crush my truck and, and my shop just recently. And so since you st stayed around to see the end, we'll show you uh, kind of some of the damage here real quick. We lost a hood, the shop, a lot of supplies and equipment. I was unloading pallets of, of honey in, in my loading dock. If you park under large trees, it could be dangerous. Hope this pal idea will help give you a little, a few ideas and some help. John Pluta, GeorgiaBees.blogspot.com.